Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today's video will be a little bit different from what I usually do. I did something similar last year when I built a copy of the Soul Train and told the story of Nicholas Orpheus, the conductor of the train. His job is to collect souls that have sinned and bring them down to the underworld. Today I wish to tell you about a very special lady who also collects souls, though her means are a bit different than what Nicholas is. Long, long time ago, it was a married go around. She was so beautiful that the world fell to his knees. Children traveled from far away just to see her and get a ride on her white horses. It's, it was told that she could make you forget your worries by listening to enchanting tunes. For some, this was a dream come true. Mary go around loved to be adored, and most of all she loved the sound of laughing children and the sound of their footsteps on the ground. She always wanted a child or two of her own, but that was not written in the stars for her. Every evening as the sun started to go down, the children left one by one, and before the last one had been played, Mary go around was all alone. This went on day after day. Every sunrise she felt the joy of happiness, and every sunset she lost it. Her heart started to hurt, and little by little she ate for a dream to come true, that one day she will get a child or two. One day, like any other, Mary Goran called out as the children were about to leave. One boy heard her cry and stopped to look around. Where did that cry come from? When Mary noticed, her heart jumped. Does this mean she can talk to them and maybe make them stay? She decided to try again and to her surprise, a girl heard her this time. Don't you wish to stay with me? Mary Goron asked. But the little girl said no, cause when the sun goes down, they wish to go home. Can't I be your home? Mary Goron asked. The child replied that though she liked to ride Mary's horses, home was where the heart is, and that was with her family. That night Mary Goron cried to the stars. I wish I could go forever, and that the night became the day. And as her cry, her sadness stood root in her heart, and it slowly started to grow. As time went on, the world changed, and Mary go around it too. Her heart was no longer happy, and her dream became an obsession to her. If they won't stay with me by night, they cannot stay with me by day. You must not be greedy, the stars whispered. We cannot change what's been written in the stars. But this wasn't good enough for Mary go around, and she decided next time she will not stop. Her horses will go up and down all night long. If they don't wish to stay, I will make them. The next sunset, Mary go around did not stop. She kept spinning round and around, and even as the children cried, Mary did not listen. As the night went on, the children could not get off the merry go around, and by the next morning, the cries had stopped. As the children died, their souls got cursed, and they can never leave the merry-go-round. As the stars watched, they cried out, This is not right! 
You must let them go. But Merry Go Round did not listen to the stars' plea. They belong to me now. And I am where their heart is now. From this day the sky became dark and the clouds started to cry over the merry go around. Today Mary still keeps calling out and every now and then a child listens. The same fate happens to them that doesn't know what happened here before. Today it's been written many tales, poems and songs about merry-go-round. I wish to read to you one of my favorite poems. Once there was a merry-go-round, so beautiful, you never want to leave. Its white horse goes up and down, up and down, a joyful ride indeed. Enchanting music plays as children form a queue. They come from all around the world to hear this joyful tune. The merry go around loves to see them come, but she hates to watch them go. The only sound they're being there are the footprints on the lawn. Her joy turns into sadness as the music starts to fade. I can't believe it's ending. And the last tune has been played. I wish to go forever, cries the merry go around now. What if we don't come back to take a ride this time around? Night time finally comes, it's quiet as the grave. She's left alone with only stars to listen to her prayers. Don't be sad, the stars shine bright and whispers to her ear. The sun will rise again so soon and laughter will appear. As morning comes, she hears the laughter that she holds so dear. The children have come back for her, but her joy is mixed with fear. She's scared that they might leave again, and this time she won't let go. The music will not fade today, and the spinning will not slow. The children are screaming. What a scary ride indeed. Please let them go, the stars cry out. This is not how it's meant to be. The carousel just doesn't care, and she chants a little tune. As her horses are spinning round and around, as pale as the moon. Loneliness will be no more, and our heart will be as one. They are my children now, and this will be their home. Dark clouds gather gathers around the scene as the stars begins to weep. Their ride will only stop that day she finds new souls to keep. I decided to read you this poem, which is most similar to the story. Just so you know the reason why it's my favorite, it tells most of the truth. One of the reasons why I wish to tell you about the merry-go-round is because it's close to Hallow's Night. And I've been told that children often disappear or wander off when she calls, as the spirits are more sensitive on this particular night. So please take care of your children and don't let them wander alone. Other than that, I wish you a happy Halloween. Don't eat too much candy because you might get a stomach ache. So there, I hope you enjoyed my story and that you will like my copy of the merry-go-round if you see her maybe you can recognize it I have one video left for Halloween itself I hope you will enjoy that one and I hope you enjoy this one see you around bye
Come to me, the men of the dark side, or else you're going to save yourself.